blanket or over the blanket, kind of figure that out. Um, same goes for toes. Um, as well, your pillow. You want to have a just one roll of your towel or whatever you have underneath. You don't want it to be too high. We are doing a little slight tilt of the head. That's just to remind the body that we are not sleeping, but we don't want to be um, any higher than that because it'll start to bother your neck after some time. So remember that everything that you are choosing, you're staying in this position, regardless of what I say, you are staying lying down in Shavasana. Everything that is going on is going on solely in your mind. You are making no physical movements. <laughs> Just want to clarify that because I do talk a lot about doing things. And so I don't want you running down wells. <laughs> you never know. So go ahead and wiggle all you want. Lie back. If you have an eye mask, that's fine. Just make sure that whatever it is that is lying on your eyes or whatever is attaching that eye mask to you is unbelievably comfortable. Settle in, wiggle, wiggle. Pretty basic. You want to be as welcoming as possible. You want to be as spontaneous as possible with your thoughts. So you really don't want to put a lot of effort into it. You don't want to uh, go deep, as it were. Um, you're not working on that. You're just working really on relaxing your body and following my voice. That is very important in all things. Just follow my voice. So I'll go from thing to thing. You go from thing to thing. And as quickly as you can, don't worry about it. If you can't see something, it will all come in time. Whatever it is that you're seeing, whatever it is that you're feeling, Whatever your mind is manifesting is perfect for you. It's exactly what you need right here and right now. So have an attitude of welcoming, an attitude of relaxation of the body, an attitude of inviting, an attitude of spontaneity, don't try to repress anything that comes up. Just allow it to bubble up. Okay. All righty. And everybody's all settled in. Let's go ahead and start. You're lying down in Shavasana. Your body is stretched out, feet apart. Palms of the hands turned upwards and eyes closed. Make all your necessary adjustments so that you are as comfortable as possible, as there may be no movement, neither conscious nor unconscious. Remember that you are about to practice yoga nidra, psychic sleep, and that you have only to maintain awareness of hearing and feeling. The body sleeps, but the mind remains awake. You must remain alert so that you do not sleep. Say to yourself mentally, I will not sleep. I will remain awake. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, feel the coolness and calmness spreading throughout your body. As you breathe out, feel your cares and worries flowing out with the breath dropping away. Become aware of your body and relax yourself completely. Make yourself physically calm and steady. Feel that the legs are relaxed, the trunk, the head, the arms and hands. Develop the awareness of your physical body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And say in your mind, Om. Complete awareness of the whole body. Say to yourself again, 
Om. Relax your whole body mentally. Relax yourself mentally. Relax yourself by breathing normally and becoming aware of the breath as it moves between the navel and the throat. Awareness of your natural breath, no forcing. Navel to throat breathing. Please go on with this awareness and slowly feel yourself becoming more relaxed. Now leave your breathing and become aware that you are going to practice yoga nidra. Yoga nidra begins now. Now is the time to make your resolve. Be consistent. Plant the resolve at one place and do not change it. Certainly the resolve will come true if the soil is perfect. Your resolve is a statement of fact a positive affirmation about yourself, such as I am strong, I am love, I am alive. Choose your resolve and repeat your resolve with feeling and awareness three times. Awareness of the parts of the body. The consciousness should move around the body and keep on moving. As it moves, it changes into prana, vital energy, in the form of a current of energy. Do not concentrate on any one part, but let your mind jump freely from one part to the next. We begin on the right side, right hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm, back of your hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, top of your foot, right toes, first toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, left thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, top of your foot, left toes, first toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Go to the right toes. Start from the bottom. Right big toe. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Top of your foot. Sole. Heel. Ankle. Calf muscle. Kneecap. Thigh hip, waist, armpit, 
shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, back of your hand, palm of your hand, right thumb, second, third, fourth, fifth. Go to the left toes, left big toe, left second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, top of your foot, sole, heel, ankle, calf muscle, kneecap, thigh, hip, waist, armpit, Shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, wrist, back of your hand, palm of your hand, left thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth. Go to the back of the body, go to the back of the head where it touches the floor, back of the head, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, whole spine, right hip, left hip, right buttock, left buttock, back of the right thigh, back of the left thigh, back of the right knee, back of the left knee, right calf muscle, left calf muscle, right ankle, left ankle, right heel, left heel. Right ankle, left ankle, right calf muscle, left calf muscle, back of the right knee, back of the left knee, back of the right thigh, back of the left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, right hip, left hip, whole spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the head. Go to the front of your body. Go to the top of your head. Top of your head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the space between the eyebrows, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear. Right nostril, left nostril. Right cheek, left cheek. Upper lip, lower lip. Chin, jaw, throat. Right collarbone, left collarbone. Right chest, left chest. Middle of the chest, navel. Upper abdomen, lower abdomen, right groin, left groin, right thigh, left thigh, right knee, left knee, right toes, left toes. Right toes, left toes, right knee, left knee. Right thigh, left thigh. Right groin, left groin. Lower abdomen, upper abdomen. Navel, right chest, left chest. Middle of the chest. Right collarbone, left collarbone. Throat, jaw, chin, lower lip. Upper lip, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, 
left nostril, right ear, left ear, right eye, left eye, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eyebrow, left eyebrow. Eyebrow center, forehead, top of your head. Now the major parts of the body, the whole right leg, whole of the left leg, both legs together, whole of the right arm, whole of the left arm, both arms together, whole of the back together, whole of the front, together, whole of the head, together, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Visualize your whole body. Intensify your awareness, the whole body. the whole body. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Feel the meeting points between the body and the floor. Sharp meeting points, body and floor. Feel the floor holding you like a baby in its arms. Now concentrate on your body as if you are seeing it from the outside. Look on your body as an object. See your head, your clothes, your whole body from top to bottom, lying on the floor in Shavasana. See your body as an object, a reflection in an imaginary mirror. You are looking at your own reflection in the mirror. You see yourself lying on the floor. Your feet, your legs, abdomen, chest, arms, hands, clothing, nose, closed eyes, forehead, hair, everything reflected in that mirror. Awareness of your body as an object. Make sure you are not sleeping. Bring your attention to the natural, quiet breath. Become aware of the breath through the nostrils. The natural breath flows through both nostrils and meets at the top of the nose to form a triangle. The spontaneous breath enters through the nostril openings moves upwards and draws together to form a triangle with its apex in the eyebrow center.
Become aware of the breath passing through both nostrils. Become aware of both breaths separately and simultaneously. Think of the breaths as a starting separately from a distance, drawing near and uniting in the eyebrow center. Now concentrate on each breath and try to determine its temperature. Move back and forth and compare the temperatures. In yoga, we say the left nostril breath is the moon and the right, the sun. The moon, cooler, the right, sun, warmer. Continue your awareness of breathing, but imagine you are now breathing through alternate nostrils, in through one nostril and out through the other, up and down the sides of the triangle and back again. Up and down the sides of the triangle and back again. Maintain your awareness and start counting each breath with full attention. Inhale left 54. Exhale right 54. Inhale right, 53. Exhale left, 53. And so on. Continue counting. Counting and breathing. Total awareness of counting and breathing. If you make a mistake or reach zero, start again from 54. Stop your counting and remain aware of the breath only. Inhaling evenly through both nostrils. Total awareness. No sleeping. No sleeping, please. Heaviness, awaken the experience of heaviness in the whole body. Become aware of heaviness in each part of the body as it is named. Toes, heels, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, buttocks, back, abdomen, chest, shoulders, arms, palms, head, eyelids, the whole body, heavy, the whole body, heavy, the whole body, heavy. Experience this feeling of heaviness in the whole body. Lightness, manifest the experience of lightness in the body. 
Manifest the feeling of lightness from the top, from the top of your head, the whole head, shoulders, palms, back, chest, abdomen, thighs, knees, calves, heels, soles, toes. Manifest the experience of lightness in the whole body from top to toe. The lightness of the body can be developed by feeling the meeting points between the body and the floor. Point by point or as a whole, a whole surface of body floor meeting. Concentrate on this area of meeting and gradually experience lightness. Feel yourself floating up from the floor. You are so light that you are floating to the ceiling, drifting back and forth. Continue this experience until lightness is manifest. Go on, continue. Pain. Recollect the experience of pain, any kind of pain you've experienced in your life, head pain, stomach, any physical pain or mental pain. Everyone has experienced pain at some point in time in their life. Remember that pain, feel that pain. Try to make that experience of pain as clear as possible. Deepen your awareness and feel that pain intensely, acutely. Continue to concentrate on the experience of pain. Pleasure. Try to experience the feeling of pleasure, any pleasure. Concentrate and remember the feeling of pleasure. It may be according to your sense of touch, smell, taste, hearing, or sight. Any kind of mental pleasure. Recall that pleasure and try to develop it into an ecstatic experience. Think of an ocean. Think of a dark blue ocean and become aware of the waves. That ocean lies within the inner space. The Chittakasha and the rolling waves represent sleep. The space behind your eyelids. Manifesting unconscious state of mind. Become aware of sleep and try to visualize this state of unconsciousness within you like waves on an ocean. Above is a beautiful blue sky and below a vast ocean with infinite waves. The manifesting process of unconsciousness. Imagine a well, imagine a well and that you are looking into it. The well is dark and deep. A cylindrical tunnel into the depths of the earth. There is a bucket on a chain. You lower it into the well and it moves into abysmal darkness. 
You can feel it on the chain, in the depths, but you cannot see it. Now pull the bucket up, up out of the darkness and into the light. Let's lower the bucket again, but this time if you wish, you can get into the bucket and I will lower you down and pull you up again, perfectly safe. Now the bucket is winding down and you are descending slowly through the light and moving into darkness. Unknown, all pervading darkness. Complete darkness and emptiness all around. So dark you cannot see yourself, but you can know and feel that you are. You descend a little further with complete awareness that you are. Now I am winding you up, up through the darkness and into the dim light, from dim light into daylight and out of the well. Become aware again of the inner space you see behind your forehead, your chitakasha. Develop your awareness of this infinite space. It extends as far as you can see, as low or as high and as wide as you can see. Become aware, but do not become involved. Observe it as if you are watching a movie what you see is a projection of your subconscious. If you see patterns, phenomena, this is simply the way your mind is manifesting. Continue your awareness. Continue. Imagine that it is very early morning, still dark, and you are walking through hills, climbing up towards some mountains. You are alone. You are walking east, and if you look back, you can see a crescent-shaped moon low in the sky. Soon the sun will rise over the mountains ahead. Far below in a valley, the lights of a small town twinkle through an early morning mist. The track twists back and forth on the side of a steep slope. It winds between huge boulders and over bridges suspended across deep chasms. A gap between two hills gives a glimpse of a huge snow-covered mountain ahead. The pale sky behind it heralds the dawn. You climb up through the snow. It makes a crunching sound as you break the surface and sink in. A glacier lies across your path. There are creaks and groans of moving ice as you quickly move across. Near the top of the mountain becomes very cold. Winds howl around your body and snatch at your clothes. Snow and ice cling to your shoes. You reach the top and a magnificent scene reveals itself before your eyes. To the east, a vast range of snow-covered peaks and dark valleys. To the west, hills leading to rolling plains and then to the sea. Intensify your imagination and visualize this scene. See the sun rise like a golden ball in the east, scattering rays of golden light off snow that dazzles your eyes. Sweep your eyes around the sky. To the west, it is still gray. Above you, blue. 
in the east, a delicate pink as it nears the sun. Watch the sunlight strike the tops of the mountains and move down their sides. Deep valleys emerge as the shadows retreat. You sit with legs crossed and contemplate this grand scene, the dawn of a new day. Let yourself experience this for some time. Let your mind flow freely with this experience. Bring your awareness back, back behind your eyelids, the dark soft space you see in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena, images manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts occur, let them come and let them go. But continue watching the dark space. Continue with this detached awareness. Imagine that you are on the ceiling and you see below your body lying in Shavasana on the floor. Practicing Yoga Nidra in a room with others. Now see your body slowly stand up and tiptoe to the door quietly. Open it and go outside, closing the door softly behind you. See your body walking around this building. See the familiar things around you. There is no sense of effort, only lightness. You meet some people that you know. You see them, but they can't see you. Watch them as they walk past, having their usual conversation. Suddenly you find that your body is floating over the sea. Become aware of this. See the dark blue sea glistening below, across its surface, a ship is streaming. Your body floats like a cloud. Wherever the wind blows the cloud, your body is also blown. Whiffs of the cloud brush past your face. Below you, sunlight reflects off banks of white cloud. Above you, puffs of cloud scurry across the sky. Now your body is lifted by currents of air and carried over the land. On the ground below, you see farmhouses, carefully laid out fields, Thick forests, winding rivers that reflect the sun. Pause a moment and look closely at yourself. Your body is totally relaxed. And on your face is an expression of peace and calm.
See your body suddenly immersed in color as it passes through a vibrant rainbow. Feel yourself washed and purified by subtle colors. Yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange, golden yellow. Feel the colors penetrating your whole body, nourishing and invigorating you at some very deep level. Then slowly make your return. See your body return to the outside of this building. See again the familiar objects. Quietly open the door, walk inside and close it after you. You lie down on the floor, taking care not to disturb others. Now see your body slowly practicing some movements, side to side, back and forth. Then your body rests again in Shavasana. Withdraw your mind and concentrate again on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen through which you can see infinite space. A space that extends as far as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. Now coming to image visualization. A number of different things will be named and you should try to develop a vision of them on all levels. Feeling, awareness, emotion, imagination, as best you can. If you are able to find this vision with your relaxation, If you are not, it just needs a little more practice. Burning candle. Endless desert. Egyptian pyramid. Standing Christ. Torrential rain. Snow-capped mountains. Greek temple at sunrise. Coffin beside a grave. Birds flying across the sunset. A menorah. 
red clouds drifting. Across above a church. Stars at night. The full moon. Smiling Buddha. Wind from the sea. Waves breaking on a deserted beach. The restless sea. The eternal restless sea. Waves breaking on a deserted beach. Return your awareness to your inner space, your chitakasha, behind your eyelids, behind your forehead. Watch this space carefully for anything that may emerge. There should be no effort, just awareness of watching. Total awareness of watching with no involvement. Continue watching this space and become aware of any images, spontaneous thoughts, anything that emerges, become aware of these. Imagine yourself in a park in the early morning. The sun has not yet risen, and the park is deserted except for yourself. It's a beautiful park, calm and peaceful. Walk around the springy grass. Listen to the birds whistle and call as they welcome the new day. There are gardens of flowers, roses, yellow, pink, red, purple. Smell their fragrance and see the early morning dew drops on their petals. Nearby the rose garden is a fish pond. Goldfish swim in and out amongst the water lilies. See their graceful movements. You walk between trees, beautiful trees bare trees, trees with leaves, wide spreading trees and tall stately trees. There is a clearing between the trees. In that clearing is a small temple with an aura of light around it. Go to the door, it is cool and dim inside. Inside on the walls, there are pictures of great people. You sit down on the floor, close your eyes, and become still. A sense of deep peace and harmony envelops you as the sounds outside fade into the distance. Continue your awareness of meditation inside the temple. Stay there for some time until peace and harmony pervade.
Bring your awareness back to Chittakasha. Bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore a little, you can shift your gaze slightly upwards, but do not strain. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. Any subtle phenomena manifests. Simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts occur, let them come and go, but continue to watch the dark space. Continue with this detached awareness. Now remember your resolve your sankalpa that you made at the beginning of this practice, that same resolve. Repeat the same words with the same attitude. Repeat your resolve now three times clearly with feeling and emphasis. Become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Awareness of breathing and awareness of relaxation. Develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of meeting points between your body and the floor. Develop awareness of the room, walls, ceiling. Noises in the room and noises outside. Take your mind out. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments and keep your eyes closed. Begin to make small movements with your body. Wiggling your fingers. Wiggling your toes. Consciously inhaling and exhaling breath. Letting your head roll from side to side. As you slowly bring yourself back. Not hurrying, taking your time. When you are sure that you are wide awake, open your eyes and gradually come up to a seated position. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete.